Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm doing another Girl Talk podcast. So I know my last couple of videos have been more about pop culture. I know I've definitely shook the table like a freaking earthquake for a lot of you people that listen because a lot of you have been so triggered and so shook by some of my words. So a lot of you cry babies in the comments, but it's okay. I'm going to move on to a topic that most people can relate to and is a little bit more informative. So this Girl Talk is titled, You Will Go Broke in college so now this isn't me telling you that you will definitely because there are ways to ensure that you will have monetary stability for the most part but this is me telling you that there will be times in college if there haven't been already where you feel broke or the chances of you not having money and eating ice cereal for dinner are higher if you do any of the things i'm going to list so just a little update about me my name is chama if this is your first time watching i'm 21 years old i am a fourth year student at the university of toledo and i'm a very very, um, well, I would like to consider myself a very well-educated person on the authentic college experience. So I'll be speaking from what I know and what I've seen. Now, this video is for those of you girls who like to flex your MCM purses and your Louis Vuitton purses, but only have $13.41 in your account and can't afford to buy a Pop-Tart at the school cafeteria. This video is for you guys who have $10 to buy a dime bag of weed every weekend before you go to a party and no money to pay for that access code for your textbook. This video is for you girls who can't afford more than one bundle of hair, but still wanna be flexing on Instagram talking about some your woman crush Wednesday could never. This his woman crunch Wednesday would never okay <laughs> this video is for you guys who walk with this who, who walk around with the same designer belt at every event but the rest of the outfit is a white tee some thrifted jeans because your pockets couldn't afford or keep that same energy when you want to go buy the rest of the Instagram and flex worthy outfit this is for the girls who get their nails acrylic up every other weekend and, and their dining dollars or their flex dollars whatever you call it at your college are gone because you spend 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 and don't know how to budget i know i'm hitting a nerve for some of y'all but that's okay because i'm here to help i'm here to help those of you who want just want smaller chances of going broke in college so i broke this video down into three subsections to state what some of you could be doing and why a lot of you go broke and then i'll insert ways to avoid being broke and being in the negative in your bank account Number one, lack of budgeting and priorities. So when you come to college, the first thing you need to do is prioritize how your life is about to go. And having a financial priority has to be somewhere at the top part of your list because most of college is expenses. Of course, there's fun parts, there's social gatherings, there's things like that, but most of college is expenses. So as you enter college, you're now considered an adult. So you should be figuring out how to make adult decisions. So that means budgeting and that means prioritizing. Things that used to mean something to you, things that you used to buy willingly, things that you could afford maybe in high school because you had less expenses such as rent and gas and food, the groceries, stuff like that was less in high school. Now that you're in college, you're getting to college, you're going to have to account for those things. So there's no more getting your petty little fast food checks and then going to the movies or buying the newest 2K. You have to think of rent, groceries, gas, school fees, etc. You have to budget. And as I always said, with no budget, your life will plummet. Keep that in your head. With no budget, your life will plummet. So when you don't have any priorities when it comes to finances, you're going to wonder, why am I always broke? Well, yes, a lot of us are sitting in the broke you know, broke zone of our bank accounts, but there's a way that you don't have to be broke. And if you look at your expenses and a lot of it is fast food or um, just extracurricular things that really don't have any essence in your life. Like I get it. You want to be able to buy what you want to buy. If you like to play 2K, you should be able to play 2K and buy that. But if it's not something that is a priority and you really can afford it, you really probably shouldn't buy it. Point number two, reckless spending. So when you think you need everything but don't understand the essence of making things to getting things on your own, this is what I mean by reckless spending. So reckless spending is literally when you are out, like at Walmart, like I have a problem with doing this. So like I'm definitely a culprit of this, but I can go to Walmart and say, okay, I'm gonna go in here and get some onions, a box of cereal, some milk, and maybe like, I don't know, a magazine or something. But I'm walking through and I see, oh shoot, I want some chips. Oh, shoot. I need that t-shirt. Oh, wow. Look, they have the newest 
I don't know, beauty blender. That's called reckless spending because those are things I don't necessarily need and I didn't come to the store to get. And that just doesn't even go for things that are necessity or a part of my hobby. That goes for other things too. That means when you're going out to the club every weekend, you realize spending that $5 or $10, hell, even $20 sometime entry fee to get into the parties every weekend and then spending money at the bar and then spending money to get fooled after you get back from the party, that's reckless spending because a lot of you guys do that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes even people at my school on Sunday, people go out. So doing that four days out of the week or four days, yeah, four days out of the week, that's more days, that's more than half of the week. You're spending recklessly buying something that you really don't need. Money doesn't grow right from trees, okay? People say, okay, yeah, it's made of paper, it grows from trees. No, it doesn't grow right from trees. If there was a tree that just pushed out $5 bills, $10 bills, I would plant one right in my room. I would plant the tree right in my room right now. That way I could have an endless supply. I don't care if I had to pay a thousand dollars for the seed. If it means that it's going to grow me twenties, hundreds, fifties, I'm planting one in my room, right? I'm getting one for my house. I'm getting multiple actually. I'm building a whole forest, let alone a jungle. I'm going to have one of those, but that's not the case. You just have this tendency sometimes to just want to buy everything, but I think a lot of people need to understand that you can substitute certain items by making them yourself. So a lot of times I like to eat out. I'm not a cooker. I've never been a big cooker. I've never been the best in the kitchen, but for whatever reason, you know, instead of me to just take the initiative and say, okay, if I buy some chicken breast, some um, sides such as corn, or green beans or whatever and I make that I can probably make up to like three four meals versus me buying something or going out to eat and buying that and then that's just one meal and I'm going to be hungry again because I'm a girl who likes to eat you know I love to eat so it's ways that you can go about to really just conquer your reckless spending so the last part is point three, which I feel as if many college students fall victim, not even college students, but a lot of people fall victim to this. Trying to perp or be cool, seen as cool, and, and just look like you're a part of the crowd. So this happens when you try to upkeep and, you know, keep up with um, everybody and you don't have self-control. You're seeking validations from other people. So quick story, I remember being a freshman year and it was like the first big event where everybody got dressed and stuff. When I tell you everybody, everybody was at the mall. I went to the mall the day of the party. Granted, yes, you want to buy something to look nice, but you go in there and you see people cashing out. I'm not talking your basic $20 to $30 dress from Charlotte Russe or Forever 21 or um, any other typical mall stores. I'm talking people driving all the way up to like the designer stores to get a bag. Guys are driving up to go get a Scully that's $100 for the for the party. People are buying extra stuff. And I understand you want to slurge, you want to look nice. But you never understand as a college student how redundant this becomes. And it also adds to the problem. It's one thing if you have the money to afford a purse, a, a pair of shoes, maybe some Cartier glasses. It's one thing if you have the money to just splurge on that. But many college students don't. And a lot of people rather be broke and look the part versus have the money and just be considered a lame because you know uh, essentially if you don't have certain things you're considered lame or rather people go broke trying to fit in trying to have the latest jordans the latest whatever so many times and then once you realize you didn't spend all your money on this on this one item just to be a part just to say you have it just so people be oh bro where'd you get them you be broke you broke as hell. You sitting there broke as a joke with no, with negative account. It's one thing to have $13 in your account. But when you negative 50 now, that's sad. Now you're in the negatives. And it's happened to the best of us. I've been in the negative a couple times. Well, probably even more than a couple times going through college. I've been in the negative before when I first started out. Definitely been in the negative. A lot of people who go to college now don't have that financial support in which your mother or your father or grandparent or guardian can come and fix it up for you and put your account back in positive. Overall, college will test your financial ability and responsibility. No one in college is here to hold your hand anymore. Your mom, dad, grandparent, guardian, again. They're not here with you every second of the day to see what you're spending your money on. If my mom would have gotten an alert every single time I made a purchase, I'm she would probably be calling me so many times asking me why I took this money out. You know, why why am I buying money and why am I buying and spending on certain things? Because Quite frankly, as young adults, we don't have as much self-control because still in college, you don't even have as many expenses as you're going to have in the real world. Some of us have to pay a phone bill. Some of us have to pay our own rent. Some of us have to pay for everything. Quite frankly, 
I think I'm in a very good situation where my parents do cover a lot of my expenses, but I do have a lot of expenses that I take care of on my own. And a lot of people aren't even as lucky as I am. Some of you guys are out here doing it by yourself, but you can't wonder why you're broke when you're going through your whole entire college career with a lack of budgeting and prioritizing. You're recklessly spending your money, and then you're trying to fit in by buying things that you know you can't afford just to say that you have it, just to say that you took the picture. I always live by the fact, and I heard this about a year ago, this is the smartest thing someone ever told me when it comes to buying stuff or just trying to stay within a financial ground that keeps you level-headed is if you can't buy three of something do not buy it at all so ladies if you cannot afford three bundles don't even buy one fellas if you can't buy three pairs of Jordans don't buy one if you don't have the money in your account to afford three of whatever you want to buy don't buy one that's how you should honestly be living and that's how you should really be upholding your bank account because I've had the money to buy a lot of expensive things that I want but I know I don't I can't afford it and still be you know okay or I might have to work extra hard just to make up for the money that I lost so it's called saving you know saving saving is a big thing when it comes to college because there's so many unnecessary expenses that come with college that are hit from you not even from the beginning but they might hit you in the middle of the semester or more towards the end of the semester. You never know what happens in between. And if you don't take initiative to make sure that you are financially stable now, it's only going to get worse and worse because you're going to continue on with those habits. So another suggestion, my sister Ruby, she actually has a series on her channel called Money Mondays, and she's talked about ways to make money as a college student. I will link one of her videos down below and pin it in the comment section. That way you guys can see some ways to just really make some extra side money because there's ways to go about it, okay? You don't always have to work. You don't always have to have a side hustle. There are ways to just get some little money here and there that can help out a college student. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.